Sarah. Hey, Lee. Hi, I'm Lee Johnson, and I teach English and Gender Studies at Marymount. I'm an Associate Professor of Literature and Languages. My research is really centered on the intersections between gender studies and feminist theory and Chicano and Chicana literature. And currently my research is focused on Chicana women's friendships and the ways that those have played out over the course of the past 50 years or so. Probably for many people, <laughs> it's been this book right here, and for me it was too. This is Gloria Anzaldúa's Borderlands, La Frontera. It is an academic piece, but it's written in Spanish and Nohatal and poetry and <laughs> academic prose, and I'll just read a, a clip from it. We need Kuatlikyu to slow us up so the psyche can assimilate previous experiences and process the changes. If we don't take the time, she'll lay us low with an illness, forcing us to rest. Come, little green snake. Let the wound caused by the serpent be cured by the serpent. The soul uses everything to further its own making. And so she's kind of talking about the ways that a borderland psychology works in terms of her own writing, but also in identity formation for people who live along the border. In the 1980s, Gloria Anzaldúa and Cherie Moraga published this bridge called My Back, Radical Writings by Women of Color. And it was tremendously important for the third wave feminist movement. Their collaboration is possible because they started working through underground presses, they started meeting each other. Chicana writers started writing to each other. And so there was a real spirit of collaboration, sort of saying like, nobody else is gonna build this for us. So we have to work together. I mean, every page, like every page of this book makes me happy, so. <laughs> Where I am currently is still working on projects about how women, as they write out their identities, find ways to plug into larger communities or to make change through the kind of writing that they're doing. And that sometimes different groups of women will be writing about the same thing, trying to make some kind of change, um, but they'll be doing it in really different ways. It's important for us to understand how people's voices may say something differently, but there is a place to collaborate and work for a larger goal. I think it's essential that we are exposed, that we learn, that we stay open to, to learning new perspectives. 